Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates, sometimes simply called the Emirates of the UAE, is a federal absolute monarchy in Western Asia. At the southeast end of the Arabian Peninsula on the Persian Gulf bordering Oman to the east, and Saudi Arabia to the south as well as sharing maritime borders with Qatar to the west and Iran to the north. In 2013, the UAE's population was 9.2 million, of which 1.4 million are Emirati citizens and 7.8 million are expatriates. The country is a federation of seven emirates, and was established on 2 December 1971. The constituent emirates are Abu Dhabi, Ajman, Dubai, Fujairah, Ras al Karima, Sharjah, and Am al Kuwain. Each emirate is governed by an absolute monarch. Together, they jointly form the Federal Supreme Council. One of the monarchs is selected as the President of the United Arab Emirates. Islam is the official religion of the UAE and Arabic is the official language. The UAE's oil reserves are the seventh largest in the world while its natural gas reserves are the world's seventeenth largest. Sheikh Zayed, ruler of Abu Dhabi and the first president of the UAE, oversaw the development of the Emirates and steered oil revenues into healthcare, education, and infrastructure. The UAE's economy is the most diversified in the Gulf Cooperation Council. While its most populous city of Dubai is an important global city and an international aviation hub. Nevertheless, the country remains principally reliant on its export of petroleum and natural gas. The UAE is criticized for its human rights record, including the specific interpretations of Sharia used in its legal system. The UAE's rising international profile has led some analysts to identify it as a regional and middle power. Antiquity It appears the land of the Emirates has been occupied for thousands of years. Stone tools recovered from Jebel Fire in the Emirate of Sharjah reveal a settlement of people from Africa some 127,000 years ago in a stone tool used for butchering animals discovered. A Jebel Baraka on the Arabian coast suggests an even older habitation from 130,000 years ago. There is no proof of contact with the outside world at that stage, although in time it developed with civilizations in Mesopotamia and Iran. This contact persisted and became wide-ranging, probably motivated by trade and copper from the Harja Mountains, which commenced around 3000 BCE. In ancient times, al Hassa was part of al Baran and adorned Greater Oman. From the 2nd century AD, there was a movement of tribes from al Bahrain towards the Lower Gulf. Together with her migration among the Azdite Khartani and Qudura tribal groups. From southwest Arabia towards central Oman, Sassanid groups were present on the Batina coast. In 637, Julfa was an important port that was used as a staging post for the Islamic invasion of the Sasanian Empire. The area of the al an oasis was known as Tuam and was an important trading post for camel routes between the coast and the Arabian interior. The earliest Christian site in the UAE was first discovered in the 1990s. An extensive monastic complex on what is now known as Sobani Yas Island and which dates back to the 7th century. Thought to be Nestorian and built in 600 AD, the church appears to have been abandoned peacefully in 750 AD. It forms a rare physical link to a legacy of Christianity which is thought to have spread across the peninsula from 50 to 350 AD following trade routes. Certainly, by the 5th century, Oman had a bishop named John the last Bishop of Oman being Etienne, in 676 AD. 
Islam. The spread of Islam to the northeastern tip of the Arabian Peninsula is thought to have followed directly from a letter sent by the Islamic prophet Muhammad to the rulers of Oman in 630 AD, nine years after the Hijra. This led to a group of rulers traveling to Medina, converting to Islam, and subsequently driving a successful uprising against the unpopular Sassanids who dominated the northern coasts at the time. Following the death of Prophet Muhammad, the new Islamic communities south of the Persian Gulf threatened to disintegrate. With insurrections against the Muslim leaders, the Caliph Abu Bakr sent an army from the capital Medina which completed its reconquest of the territory. With the bloody Battle of Dibr in which 10,000 lives are thought to have been lost, this assured the integrity of the caliphate and the unification of the Arabian Peninsula under the newly emerging Rashidun Caliphate. Ottoman and Portuguese era The harsh desert environment led to the emergence of the versatile tribesmen, nomadic groups who subsisted due to a variety of economic activities, including animal husbandry agriculture and hunting. The seasonal movements of these groups led not only to frequent clashes between groups but also to the establishment of seasonal and semi-seasonal settlements and centers. These formed tribal groupings whose names are still carried by modern emirates, including the Bani Yasin al-Bufala of Abu Dhabi, Alan, Liwa and the Al-Bahrain coast the Dawahir, Al-Wimir and Manazir of the interior, the Sharqi Yin of the east coast and the Khawarizm. To the north, by the 16th century, ports in the Gulf, and part of the population that today form the coastal Iraq, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia, came under the direct influence of the Ottoman Empire. At the same time, the Portuguese, English, and Dutch colonial forces also appeared in the Gulf with the entire northern coast remaining under Persian rule throughout. By the 17th century, the Bani Yas Confederation was the dominant force in most of the area now known as Abu Dhabi. The Portuguese maintained an influence over the coastal settlements, building forts in the wake of the bloody 16th century conquests of coastal communities by Albuquerque and the Portuguese commanders who followed him particularly on the east coast. It must get Sohar and Corfakan. The southern coast of the Persian Gulf was known to the British as the Pirate Coast. As boats of the al Khwarizm Federation based in the area harassed British flagged shipping. From the 17th century into the 19th, British expeditions to protect the Indian trade from raiders at Ras al Khaimah led to campaigns against that headquarters and other harbours along the coast in 1809 and subsequently 1819. The following year, Britain and a number of local rulers signed a treaty to combat piracy along the Persian Gulf Coast, giving rise to the term Trucial States, which came to define the status of the coastal emirates. Further treaties were signed in 1843 and 1853, primarily in reaction to the ambitions of other European countries, namely France and Russia, the British, and the Trucial Sheikdoms established closer bonds in an 1892 treaty, similar to treaties entered into by the British with other Persian Gulf principalities. The sheikhs agreed not to dispose of any territory except to the British and not to enter into relationships with any foreign government other than the British without their consent. In return, the British promised to protect the Trucial coast from all aggression by sea and to help in case of land attack. This treaty, the Exclusive Agreement, was signed by the rulers of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Ras al Karima, and Um al Kuwain between 6 and 8 March 1892. It was subsequently ratified by the Viceroy of India and the British government in London.
British maritime policing meant that Perling fleets could operate in relative security. However, the British prohibition of the slave trade meant an important source of income was lost to some sheikhs and merchants. The charge of piracy is disputed by modern Emirati historians, including the current ruler of Shah Dar in his 1986 book The Myth of Arab Piracy in the Gulf. In 1869, the Cubaysat tribe settled at Kar al and tried to enlist the support of the Ottomans, whose flag was occasionally seen flying there. Kar al was claimed by Abu Dhabi at that time, a claim supported by the British. In 1906, the British political resident, Percy Cox, confirmed in writing to the ruler of Abu Dhabi, Zayed bin Khalifa al Nayyan that Kaur al belonged to his sheikhdom. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.